Hello everyone. So um today I decided to switch things up a bit and I wanted to talk about jobs and money. So I was actually speaking to my sister's husband and he was like he was telling me that he's tired of actually working a day job because no matter how hard he works, no matter how great he works, no matter how truthful he is, things still always turn around to buy and with the present state of the economy we know everything else is going up the only thing that's not going up is your wage same thing is happening to me too is happening to my friends everybody i know my family and it's 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 a really tough time for for my family because my dad actually died last month so it's it is it has really been tough but we we're going through it by God's grace. So, um, then I actually talked to him and actually told him about the debt slave stuff and all. And he was like, it is true. Although he never really pay attention to things like this, but um, with what is happening right now and with what he's seeing right now, he's starting to pay more and more um, attention to what is actually going on. You know, it. I don't know why people have to wait till it is too late before they, they say, okay, I'm, I am ready to listen. I am ready to fight my way out of the matrix. You understand? So, um, for those of you who don't really understand what I'm talking about, I have a video here for you. Let's Let me explain this. to you how the system works. So, the first thing is they want us to be in jobs, J-O-Bs, because there they can transduce our most valuable resource, which is our time on the planet, our effort, but our time on the planet. They can take that non-renewable resource, by the way, and transduce it into a debt instrument, Federal Reserve notes, things worth, they're not actually worth nothing. They're actually debt instruments. They're IOUs. And the rate of exchange for our time is so low, such that they can make a great deal of profit off of leveraging our time so that the companies make money and we make very little for what our time is really worth. Then do they pay you your full measure? No, they take half of it out as withholding on taxes that are unconstitutionally levied against us to take away even more of that labor transduced into worthless units, only to return it over a year later after inflation has made it even less value. Then we spend what's left and have to pay an additional sales tax, seven, 10, eight, nine, 10%. And one of my favorites is that even before we get those dollars, they take our money and put it aside for a retire in an IRA or a 401k. And we think that someday in the future, the IRS will honor its word and that we'll get that money back without tax. And the IRS has stated plainly that they'll change those rules on a whim, even though they said they can't be changed. Even if they did honor their word, by the time you get it back, it won't have even made up the value that inflation was degrading it in the first place and you've lost money. You might as well have just taken the tax hit. And then the piece de resistance, <laughs> is that media cons us in to thinking that we can have the riches of avarice by putting what's left of our money after all the expenses and taxes into a market that is designed to take our money and recycle it. And the best part about that is that we can't really deduct those losses more than $3,000 a year, and we will take up to 40% tax hit on the capital gains. Oh yes, and the more money you make, the more it's taxed. Does this seem like a fair system to you? Like it is not a fair system at all. No, it is not. And the crazy part is even if you buy a land, like your own land, if you buy that with your own money, you still don't get the land. It's still not yours because you still pay property tax on that land. If you guys think I'm I'm lying. All you just have to do is stop paying your property tax and see what happens. Exactly. People actually need to start thinking. The system is not there for us. It's it's not there for us at all. To be honest, it looks like every turn 
we we any place we actually turn to you turn to the left they are there you turn to the right they are there it's like there's a leash on your neck you understand preventing you from going further and further it's just a crazy just a crazy stuff guys it's just crazy and the 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 crazy the most craziest part is that we all go along with it and we don't see anything we don't see anything until the trouble becomes too much until the cross becomes too much to bear that is the time you start seeing people saying okay i've had enough and by that time it's it's ready too late they they already have everything they already control everything so to to get it back it will be one hell of a fight and these guys have everything at their disposal they have the military they have the police they have everything and what do we have the only thing we have is each other and guess what we do to each other we are not united we can fight we can fight for each other instead we report each other look at what happened in 2020 people started reporting their neighbors we report each other that that is what happened that is what happened and many people are still not let, although a lot of people are waking up but not 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 like the people who are still asleep because to be honest if everyone wakes up there will, there will be there will be a revolution before tomorrow morning there will be a revolution because many people still see things as black and white no it is not black and white it is not left and right it is not you versus me it is actually you versus them but it's just that you do not know it and they've actually convinced us that we are each other's problems that this other person is my problem this, then they tell the other person that i am that other person problem. and then we keep fighting each other and not looking at the actual problem who is the person telling us that we are enemies and that's it we need to we need to love we need to love each other we need to be united we need to be good to each other before we can actually fight this and, and, and even think about winning. We need to be united first because of a united people can't be can be destroyed. And that is why they use divide and conquer tactics to to try to make sure that they actually destroy that fabric of trust that we might actually have for each other. I actually do not want this video to be too long. So thank you guys for thank you guys for lending me your ears. As usual, I remain Jen and Ganye Chichen. Please like and subscribe and share the video if it resonates with you. Thank you very much for listening. Think you live in a free country? Think again.